Hello, traveler. I am Zhong Li, a consultant of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. That question is a bit unexpected. I'm a Zhongli main, of course. Well, you can guess that I have to have a bias to myself because, well, I am me. Shogun, no salutations needed. My exalted status shall not be disclosed as we travel among the common folk. I acknowledge that you are a person of superior ability. Henceforth, you will be my guard. Worry not. Should any danger arise, I shall dispose of it. Shogun, I have no need to play this foolish game. I care not about such idle distractions nor their characters. This notion in itself is entirely beyond my comprehension. In regards to games, I suppose I prefer the kind that teaches tactics and builds intellect. You can challenge me in a game of chess if you wish. Hmm. So you're that traveler everyone seems to speak about these days, no? I wonder what kind of surprise you may bring to Fontaine. She smirked slyly as she stroked her hair. Her code gaze sent a chill down your spine and you could feel that hysterical persistence for justice just by standing next to her. Purina was quite shocked by the unexpected question that someone would even ask her, especially before a trial. Hmm, interesting question that I haven't gotten before. She stroked her hair and tried to think of her answer carefully as she smiled. I made myself, duh. Because why should I main someone else when I already have myself? She smirked smugly. I'm already perfect and strong. I can one-shot any abyss with my own special move. Hi! I play for the meta, and my current favorite combo is Nouvellet C2R1 with Farina C2 No Signature. Right now I have Festering on her, but I'm saving for her signature. It's so pretty! Yawn. That was a refreshing sleep. Ah, Traveler, we meet again. What? You don't remember me? Ahaha. Uh -huh. Well, allow me to join you on your quest once again. I must see to it that the bards of the world tell the Traveler's tales. In Genshin? Haha. -ha. Silly question. Surely the character that reflects me the most, the Archon of Ananimo. I'll let you in on a secret, though. I've also been known to pick the most mischievous and clever character. That way, I can always see people guessing who I am. Ah, uh, that sounded a bit mischievous. Did you really guess who I am in the game? Huh, you're a sharp one indeed. Don't worry, I trust that you'll keep my little secret to yourself. But what? You can't do that! So you're bargaining with the god of Animo? Huh, okay, deal! man sitting at a big table. On the table are neatly folded stacks of papers, a pen, ink, and several seals. As soon as the door opens, the man immediately looks up at you, and then at the bulky clock in the corner of the office. Good afternoon. Do you have questions for the Hydro Archon, Focalers? I'll definitely tell her. What? No? Do you have questions for me? Well, I have things to do and work to do, but I can highlight, say, 10 minutes. Is that enough? His face was clearly confused. What do you mean by main? He tilts his head a bit. I don't think I understand the question. Explain, please. Nubilet sighs internally. The question really doesn't make sense and there is no way to answer it, so your stupid little brain can't comprehend that. Is that okay or do you still want to continue asking silly questions? Mavuika is the current Pyro Archon of Natlan, the Nation of War. Often referred to as the, the sun that never sets, Mavuika usually appears in public with her flamboyant leather suit. Watching over the endless battles of Natlan's pilgrimage, a tournament meant to not only pick out the strongest warrior from the Nation of Fire, but also to collect contending fire which fuel the sacred flame, keeping the nation safe from the invasion of the Abyss. Words about Mavir's upon setting foot in Natlan, Yet it is not until today that you get to see the Pyro Archon in her full glory. 
before you stand a tall confident woman with fiery hair and sunglasses wielding a massive claymore as her weapon. Come, I have been expecting your arrival, traveler from afar. Mavuika looks at you as if you're crazy for a second before replying with her usual confident attitude. Me? I main the pyro god, the one and only. Yoimiya. Yep, not even a joke here. The pyro archon, the embodiment of fire itself, is in Yoimiya main. Oh boy. Now, what's your main? Mavuika shakes her head, not believing her ears about what you just said, before she then begins to question your sanity. You did not just call Shangling better than Yoimiya. You must be crazy, or perhaps a masochist. Mavuika gives you a cold reply, pointing her claymore directly at your neck, her eyes beginning to burn brightly as she threatens you in an irritated tone. I suggest you take that back or I'll make you swallow your tongue. No one speaks of such blasphemy against the Pyro Archon. 